this DVD is on the Ying Jiao Sub Chi Kol Da Cube. Ying Jiao Sub Chi Kol Da literally uh, translates as the Eagle Claw, Ying Jiao. Uh, Sub Chi is the Chinese character for 10, which is a cross pattern. Yeah, so the form itself will be going uh, forwards, backwards, left and right. Um, and the uh, Kol Da. Kol means to seize or grab or hook like the talons of a uh, eagle and da means to strike. Okay, so this whole form is based on understanding the eagle uh, strength, which is the, uh, the grip, the forearms and how it connects with the body. There's no use in having a strong grip but not connecting the body at the same time. This form itself is to train the connection of the body from the Dantian, the rib muscles, the core, the core of your abdominal muscles when you grab. Okay, like I said, when you grab someone, you grab with the whole body. You don't just grab with a, a, a nice looking fancy claw. So when you grab and squeeze, the whole body will be in, uh, connecting with that person. I'll be showing a section on conditioning your, your Ying Jiao, your Eagle Claw, um, and forearms as well as connecting with the ribs. Uh, so this form is a training form in the Norm 8 Bart Mate. Okay, the opening of the set is the most important part of understanding the connection of the body. Now, um, if you've been following our DVD series in the Norme Bakme from Warrior Body Buddha Mind, you're going to see a pattern. The Jikbo or the Yum Yum Jikbo Kun is teaching you to understand yin and yang of the polarities of the body and how the power is expressed. This form will have a combination of different type of energies within its hands um, because the power now uh, will be coming using a, a slight tension and releasing of the power rather than a whipping force and being totally relaxed when you're doing your jig bow. So now this is uh, getting into a shorter circle, so to speak. Yeah. Now the opening is, to me, a very advanced way of learning your rib power your Dan Tian, using your Fao Chum Tung To, your rise, fall, expand and contract methods. Now some styles will use, um, you know, their, their foot forward and, and start using the power from the short. But in the Bat Mei, in this form, we start with our feet together. So we haven't got a stable stance to, to release this power and, and be able to generate it um, like some other Hakka systems. So to understand and, and develop this power, we're starting from a very neutral or a stance that's uh, very vulnerable in a fight. Yeah? So to me, this is more advanced and understand, for you to understand your body. It's, I wouldn't say it's more advanced than any other system. Every system is awesome to learn. But what I'm trying to say is, starting with your feet together and trying to do movements, you have to now understand how to use the body, yeah? So uh, we're taking it a step further now. So the opening of this set is a very important meaning behind the Yin Jiao Sub Cold Dark Hume. So, if you already bought and understood the, uh, the salutation, I'm not going to go over it so much. But we always start with the left fist in front of your Dan Tian. Your Lao Yip Jo, your Willow Leaf Palm will be here. So you're just going to meet bodies straight, your Ba Roy, Hoi Yin, and your Kidney One pressure points, your Yong Tong, is all uh, centered. Tongue is touching the roof of the mouth. And here. And as you do so, you're going to slightly bend your knees. And then you're going to draw the energy up to your left and then come up to your nipple or armpit in from the heart and out. 
and as you bring your hands up, your knees are bent, remember, you're going to bring up, breathing in, straighten the body, bring your hands to your centre, and you're going to sink down, as you sink down, you're going to salute, like that, and you'll your back will slightly concave like this. Now you're not doing that, that is completely wrong and when you see me do movements and you see me chum, I'm not going to be doing this type of movement in the form. That is very bad for you and completely wrong um, principle behind the butt made and a lot of people see people doing this and they think that this is the right way. I've travelled around China, I've trained with some awesome masters and uh, when they swallow, they're contracting their ribs, they're not hunching their back. Okay, so when I, when you see me moving and, and do this and my shoulders will round and my back will concave, it's because now I'm contracting my breath and my, my rib muscles and my core, yeah? It's not going like this, yeah? The whole body contracts like that, rather than this. Okay, so I wanna make that uh, uh, straightforward to you. That is complete wrong when you do so, and it will, end up hurting your spine later on and give you some problems that will make it weaker. Okay, so the salutation again, the feet together, knees together, hand in front of the Dantian, breathing in to the heart and sink and push out. This is the Lao Yip term. Then, cross my shoulders and now I pushed out and my, I concave my chest and I shouldn't be up higher than my eyesight. I should be able to see over because now I can pack sail or garn sail like this, anything that's coming through, yeah? So I'm always keeping my center line and I can see my vision can see straight through. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me, so from the salutation, you're gonna roll into your third chol choy, or your double lifting fist. And your, four, uh, your wrist should be lower than your shoulder. You should have a 45 degrees tendon lock when you do so. Sometimes when you can bounce it into position, remember this is a wrist power and the bridge to sink. Yeah? And I'm going to use the circle to bring this out, like so. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Now I'm going to, since my elbow is brought in with this move, I'm causing tension build up. Now this is not a bad thing. Because what we're learning now is to uh, load certain muscle groups for the next move to release. So when we use the type of gain for this short power, we have to load certain muscle groups through tension or some firmness. <coughs> so from here, my I've opened up my center line to the opponent. Yeah? Then I'm going to bring my hands in towards my body. I'm going to swallow and hollow out my chest. And then I'm going to bilgy, so how bilgy, we're going to spear finger into, think of your center line or the person's uh, uh, center into the bladder and the area here, like so. So from here. In. Yeah? Then, now we're not going too close to the body, we're going where our arm will shoot forward like that. Okay? So from here, in, 
concave and I'm using my muscles here. I'm loading the certain muscles in my forearms and my wrist. And then here it's cock, my tricep, and out. Yeah? And then I'm going to bring my hands scooping back in to uh, tiger claws in this case, yeah? Like so. Now, this, this is a lot to try. I'm trying to give you so much so you can understand this form, but it will come from you experimenting and understanding it within yourself. I can only show so much. I can only talk so much. It's up to you to put in the work. <clears throat> okay, so from here, sinking, rising, dropping, and expanding to here. Hands come towards the center and shoot out towards the person and think of a triangle in the arms here, not like that. Fingertips are going in and digging in towards the person's center. Then I'm going to bring in and grab. And I'm going to load my forearm muscles and my claw is tight and stiff. Okay, so I'm going to grab like this. And then I'm going to rise up. Think of you've got the roller bar on your arm and you're going to flick it off to the person or your, your partner, yeah? So my arms are under tension here and then I'm going to shoot and I'm going to rise up and my fingers are in parallel with my shoulder. Right? So after I've come into here, like this, I'm going to shoot up. And the wrist now is the important part of this, exercise, this movement because when I'm here like that, I'm going to use this to rebound and shoot in under if a guy's throwing a punch, I'm going to use, this is why the roller bar is so important for this, uh, for the butt mate, because we're actually blasting underneath the person's punch, derailing it, using your wrist gang, and bilging into the face, or, you know, to wherever, wherever you want to go, yeah? <clears throat> so I've done my claw, bilging, right? Now I'm going to come back, I'm going to, as I come back, I'm actually leading a person strike and I'm going to swallow up again. This is called bat's hand. If you think of a bat, so it's two hands and then it's got its wings, yeah? So this is the bat's hand, yeah? So this will be, if I've thrown the bilge and he counters, I come back here and I'm using my forearm. If it was a kick coming in, I can buff it off with my forearms and grab if I need to. Very similar to like a, a Tonglong Mantis, yeah? But we call this bat's hand, yeah? We're activating the person's pressure points on their arms and then we can come back and strike again. So we've come from the tiger claw. Build G, seek, swallow, and then come back out with the double palms. And again, we're straightening the body up. Then we're going to sink down and we're going to bring our hands as if we're holding something on our palms. As you do so, always keep in mind that this is energy and you're, you're loading the muscles in the forearms. <clears throat> See, so from here I could have pushed them and used the elbow here. This is also just to protect the, the neck area and the temple. So there's a lot going on this, in this, just the opening of this uh, salutation and the movements in this salutation can be used as drills, which uh, if I get to do another DVD and break down the fighting applications, I'll show you all these different drills for the opening. <coughs> So from the beginning, so your hands are here, you sink, breathing in, out, roll, keeping the tension, 
double uh, spear finger. Grab. Now use your, your lats and close your ribs off and you feel your tension in your core start to clamp close together. Like this. And then from here, ging with the wrist, rising up to the build deep. That's hand. Palm. Double palm. Sink down again and use your elbow and hold the, this is called holding up the pagodas. Yeah? Then into your prayer position, child praying to the goddess of mercy. Then from here, you're going to rise up. Big bird spreads its wings. You're going to chop out. This is also the letter Sat in the in the angel Sat G. Yeah, so you got your tendons of your center line and across your fingers to your shoulders to one side to the other. So Sat. Okay. Then we're going to chop with the scissor hands as we sink, and we're going to break. So the scissor movement is telling you already how important it is. Scissor means cutting, chopping, cutting off some type of supply in the body, cutting through bones. So there's, you know, you've got your yin and yang happening for breaking uh, the limbs, understanding because the scissor moves like this, yeah? And into, and you sink and pull in. Now some, you can pull into your abs and hit it if you like, but I want you to keep your elbows in front of your ribs on this one. Okay, later on you see this type of move in our butt move. But anyway, this is a hand, comes out here. And that is the first part of the uh, salutation. And now we're going to head off onto another direction.